So mm-hmm. that was just kind of speaking of uh, quarterbacks getting paid, we gotta talk about the richest man in sports history. Patrick Mahomes signs a ten year extension worth five hundred and three million dollars, and I believe four hundred and seventy seven million guaranteed. Yep. I don't think the question is whether he deserved it. I think the better question is who's next that could possibly reach that mark or even exceed the mark. Nobody. The only person. Nobody. The only person who could. He doesn't deserve it right now. And y'all already know who I'm going to say. The uh-huh. only person who could get you more too? money like that. What? Two I, thought, no. I, know, I thought you were uh, Lamar to say Jackson. But he, he would have to win a bowl. I've been gassing Tua all day. I love Tua. I love, bro, I've seen him do way too many nah, bad, Tua, terrible hold things. On. To We're us. not going to cap on Tua. Whoa. That's what I'm saying. Talk to him, bro. It's not capping on him. It's not capping on him. It, it's because our argument really is they do the Joe Burrow. It's Joe Burrow versus Tua. Before we start, me and Cut no, are, no, we are Tigers. We are no, Tigers. Let's get, no, I got to get that out of the way. Not put them in the same conversation. They're not, not the same. same. Thank you. They're not the same. They're not the same. They got the, they got the same amount of championships, right? Bro, Tua is, a, Tua is clairvoyant as a quarterback. When I saw that ball, Tua can see into the future, the into the future literally. But they Tua also had that y'all like Tua more. I respect Tua more because he beat y'all on that stage, and they really <laughs> wigged y'all because y'all said they had to play him again. <laughs> College football playoffs, but the way they set up, it was like, and they they really did y'all the same way they did LSU when Alabama ended up playing them in a in the championship after they had just beat them in the, uh in a regular season. They beat them in a regular season, went to the SEC championship, won. Alabama had a week off, came back, and it was like, oh yeah, that's the championship matchup. We gonna make Alabama play LSU again. And they beat the piss out of LSU. <laughs> and then it was kind of the same situation, y'all. Y'all played Auburn in the SC Championship. Y'all won. And then they set y'all up. To play make it's playoffs. like, yep. it really be a setup, I'm telling you. All I know is that there have been so many occasions. It's really just, it's really just a, what do they call it? The It's really just an odd test situation, bro. There have been so many occasions where I've seen Tua throw the ball. I've never seen And at the moment he throws the ball, I'm like, where is he throwing this ball? And then next thing you know, it's a touchdown. I'm just like, bro, you threw it in, but bro. This man literally does not make mistakes. <laughs> I don't know yeah, about that. Know about that. I remember Clemson, his sophomore Clemson year, would like a call. He the game with like the call. and no picks. Like, this man does not make mistakes. Repeat that stat. Couldn't hear you. He went, like, 31 TDs, no picks at the start of his sophomore year. Okay. He wasn't throwing – this man does not make mistakes. This man, I don't think it's possible that he got worse. Form. That was a perfect storm. Like, you can't even compare to his whole body of work to one season of Joe Burrow. Because he started the year before, they wasn't looking like no, – nothing wasn't looking like anything. What, the, the year before? The year before? The year, the year before. Like I would – no, but see, the year before. The year before. The first year with Joe, that offense was still less miles remnant. remnant. Yeah, it was like the offense that we run. We used, yeah. to run, we used to run the ball every play. That's what LSU used to do. That's what, that's what Les Miles brought there. So that's, so that's why people don't understand. People always say, y'all had Odell, Jarvis, and DJ Chark, and all these people on the team at the same time? Yes. Yeah, Nobody wasn't running really the ball. Enough. We ran the ball. That so wasn't, the only time the they got the shine was like play action bomb or <laughs> punt return. And who was throwing the ball to Odell? Zach Mettenberger? Zach Mettenberger, yes. Mettenberger. <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> <laughs> Like I was saying, we, we went through some hard times. It was Zach Mettenberger, and then before Joe was there, who we had, bro? We had, um, who was the know. quarterback for? <laughs> yeah, I, I know we had Justin Jefferson, but he was, that was a while back. Justin Jefferson, mm-hmm. brother, uh, Jordan Jefferson. y'all ain't been that hard. But, obviously, y'all ain't been that hard. Y'all won a nat- y'all won a nat- the last 10 years. Before this, yeah, it was Edlin. Times is hard. <laughs> Bro, enjoy your privilege. Like. Yeah. About times was hard. We lost to Vanderbilt on our homecoming, bro. Like, you <laughs> bro, I remember that. That was, that was Come but, on, bro. Well, and, well I got to ask you why we, why we on college. So, did y'all prefer Easton or Fromm? Easton, for sure. Easton. What? I Get thought that. they should have kept close. Them. Tell me why. It's not even close. This man, Easton. Eason has the ability to throw you into a game or keep you into the game with his arm. There has never, ever, ever, there's been one game in Jake Fromm's career, it was this year we played Florida, where the running game wasn't looking like nothing, and it was like, okay, Jake, it's on you. Like, we're not running the ball. You got to win this one with your arm. We ain't never been in this situation where it's been, okay, Jake, we need your arm to win this game, and we've won, except for Florida. <laughs> Most times when the run game is not looking like nothing, we got our ass beat. 
Yeah, we <laughs> just lose. Ain't that how y'all lost to South Carolina? Like, he wasn't playing good? This man yeah. had four <laughs> interceptions. The defense to the same dude. <laughs> a whole regulation, two overtimes. Defense gave up 13 points. We had four turnovers. Still lost. <laughs> like, with no winning game, what's this man doing? So, Eason, with the ability – but this man – I seen Eason make throws with – we had – Eason was our quarterback when Nicole Hartman was playing on defense. Like, think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know he was – I didn't know he switched sides. Oh, yeah. He came into Georgia as a cornerback his, his wow. freshman year. Eason mm-hmm. was a starting quarterback. We had Jason Stanley, Chick Blue, Isaiah McKenzie. Those were our three starting receivers. Nada was a true freshman starting uh, at tight end. And we was in the first year of Sam Pittman. I didn't see Eason make some beautiful throws get dropped. Yeah. <laughs> get dropped. I seen Easton throw that bomb against Tennessee. That should have been a dub his rookie year. I mean to uh to Ridley. We lost that game on defense. This man didn't even have a fair chance. Then we he gets yeah. in the season opener. This man get hurt. <laughs> Cole starting. Like second year a uh, uh, Sam Pittman, the defense was looking good. Like everything was like everything that Fron got Easton was supposed to have. Right. right. Yeah. And Kirby just rolled that momentum out into the natty. Then the next year, like when Fields came in, it was just I don't even want to talk Oh boy. About we don't have, we don't want to talk about that. But. <laughs> well, it, look, it looks a little bit more promising now. I will say that for y'all. Does as it? As far as the, it's, like cause I mean, at the end of the day, I'll be telling my friend is he a Florida fan. I'll be like, at the end of the day, bro, it, it's only gonna be Florida or Georgia. I don't see nobody else being Florida's there. not even close to us. I'm not even going. They're home. not. They're not Florida's even not remotely close. Same. Florida's not in the same class as us. No, nah, and I, I think y'all run, and I'll be telling him, I'll be like, bro, because he be like, the West not as hard. I'll be like, bro, the West, you could lose to pretty much, like, four teams could get you. And then, like, okay. other teams are getting better, and then some teams have great coaches. Like, Texas A&M got a great coach. He just don't have a program he had at Florida State. Yeah. So it's like, Jim, like, Jimbo could get the recruits he had at Florida State to, to Texas A&M. They should be able to make some noise, but they can't do nothing against Bama. Florida, Florida is battling for, with Tennessee for the fifth best team in the SEC. That's yeah, the way I see it. If our mm-hmm. offense looked like anything the last two years, we could have beat Florida by 30 points. Each of the last two years. <laughs> if our offense looked like anything. Yeah. Not I mean, the same. They're not I'd, even, I'd be like, bro, when the last time y'all won? Bro, we did this, that. I'm like, bro. They're not even in the same atmosphere as. Like, like Georgia's <laughs> been running that. And it's like Georgia could lose a game like the South Carolina game and still not have to worry. For sure. Like, the problem is when we play somebody who's for real, for real, like mm-hmm. somebody from the West side that's not Auburn. That's when it gets kind of. That's why I guess. Y'all play crazy. Auburn every year, right? Yeah, which is interesting. With we this play whole, Florida every year, unless you play Florida every year. Like it's interesting with this whole like Big Ten only playing conference games because that's the case in the SEC. We're opening with Alabama. No, that's what I said. They, but that's what they're gonna do. My, uh, my, uh, my me, and, me and Bruce, our cousin yeah, played jump, for LSU. Jumping around the topics. Our cousin played for LSU, and he told us. <laughs> uh, he told us. He he said this like three months ago. He said they talking about all conference play. He was like. But he was like, man, I don't want to do that. That's not going to be fun. I said, I said, what you mean? He was like, bro, people can say what they want, bro, about Ole Miss and, and the sorry SEC teams. He was like, after them games, he was like, you'd be so hurt and tired. Everybody <laughs> taking hell. Like, he a tight end. So sometimes he got a block. He's like, bro, that's the worst games. He was like, when we play them other teams, like Oklahoma, that stuff, we be having fun. But you play a, a SEC team, you like, I got to block this 300 pounds. Like, I got to run with him. I got to. <laughs> It's, 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 it's a lot. <laughs> I can definitely, I mean, I don't know. It's going to be crazy. Like, I could see them adding conference games. Like, how many conference games you play a year? Like, eight, they might be like, shit. Yeah. Random generator, everybody get three extra conference games. Like, <laughs> they're going to play 12 games. Y'all just going to play them all in your conference. Like, yeah, I think they get seven they to eight. Yeah, they play, might be everybody play everybody once. Or Yeah, that's what I think they're going to do. Everybody play yeah. everybody once. My, then, my, my question is, record, for, uh, what you call it? My question is, how they gonna handle like Notre Dame? Who aren't who, they say they they not, might even have a season because they're not in the conference. I feel like certain conferences are just gonna have to adopt them for a year. Yeah, they can go ACC. ACC. They basically ACC. Okay, uh, yep. uh, 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 BYU. Pac twelve. It's just gonna have to like wrap their arms around them. But they so I ain't gonna lie, their location is so bad that they. For location purposes, Big Ten makes sense because they're in Indianapolis. But they probably they ask you. They, they go on Owen, Owen whatever. Yeah, they, they don't want <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to play them. And it's like Owen whatever. 
Because I think in basketball, they're associated with the ACC. Yeah, no, yeah, they got a conference in basketball, but not football. Yeah. I so That's it's why like, I, said I don't know how you do a, a conference for one sport, but not the others. You might as well just buy into it. Because, you know, Notre Dame got them Notre Dame got them uh, exclusive NBC rights. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they always you know, They're not trying to let nobody else in on that bag, and I feel right. it. 100%. And then they play, SC, they play a USC every year, I think, too. But I know that's too far for distance. Like, they just have to migrate and live over there for the for the season. Because they're trying to do your location base where you don't have to leave, like, your area of the, of the country. I feel like you can still play, at least between the SEC and the ACC, I feel like you can play the rivalry game still, though. Like, yeah. it don't make sense that Clemson can go up to Boston College, but they can't go to Columbia. Right. You know well, what I'm saying? Like, like, Georgia and, uh, Georgia and uh, Clemson. Georgia and play Tech, Clemson play uh, South Carolina. Yeah, I feel like you can make that. Team, do we, bro? I don't think so. I don't think LSU have one. Or they can, or the ACC and SEC could set something up, be like everybody get one like tournament, SEC, SEC tournament for the yeah, like the a little face off, like everybody match up with somebody. Play so that. Clemson versus. <laughs> they were trying to give us a rematch. We got a head to head with them starting in 2022, so they could chill. We ain't got to play them no more. Like it ain't, you ain't even got to put the big. Against each other, like you can be like Alabama, Wake Forest, like you know, yeah. what I'm saying Clemson versus Ole Miss, you know, what I'm saying like it can be whatever, but I feel like it can make it happen. Yeah, 